anything that uh, an individual did against another clan family, it made the whole clan, his clan, responsible to make all the restitutions and that that would be required. And they call that in Navajo, they call it Nalie. <laughs> We want to thank everybody for uh, viewing our videos and, uh, of course, uh, allowing us to share with you uh, traditional Navajo teachings. Today we're going to talk about keh. Keh is probably the most important uh, social uh, identity among the Neh, especially the uh, traditional Dene. Uh, keh is uh, by means of knowing how you are related to all other Dene. And the word keh actually means family. The uh, traditional teachings of um, the uh, system of keh is that every clan group has its own origin story. And of course they have their own um, totems and their own uh, mascot. Traditionally, uh, clans was uh, their family was very strict in the application of uh, keh. So it was that, uh, that it was total family control uh, keh as uh, a means to uh, help individuals uh, to uh, recognize their position in their families. Keh regulated uh, how you were taught spiritual information and who was responsible for uh, providing you learning about the uh, traditional teachings of the Neh and how you were to be involved in any type of uh, ceremony or the sacred ceremonies. Keh was also uh, very important when it became time for you to marry because uh, clans and family were uh, responsible for arranging your marriage. It was all a family activity and clans, individual uh, clan members and family members were given that responsibility. Uh, the first and most important clan in your life is that of your mother. Uh, the uh, children belong to the mother. And the uh, teachings are that um, the uh, family uh, recognize certain taboos in the clan system. And one of the most uh, important ones is, of course, never to marry into your own clan. And it was uh, forbidden ever to produce offspring uh, from your own clan. Every clan group or family were known for several, several things. Of course, among those are the uh, clan skills and the special talents that the, uh, the clan group had. And the um, individual clan member, of course, had responsibilities to the clan and making sure that uh, the clan family would survive under all sorts of uh, conditions. The um, teachings are that the, um, anything that uh, an individual did against another clan family, it made the whole clan, his clan, responsible to make all the restitutions and that that would be required. And they call that in Navajo, they call it nalie. And the um, no wrong act of any kind was ever ignored. The uh, clan that you were a member of or descendant of and your individual identity was based on your clan origin and it was very important to always maintain the reputation of your clan family. Keh. Yeah,